This year, the world witnessed the level, intensity, and depth with which racism still exists and how systemic and undercover it has been. As Cedric Lundy said, we done told y'all. While today marks the end of Black History Month, our contributions in history march on. Black history is a months-long movement where a minuscule number of Black Americans are acknowledged. Our history is history first, American second, and Black third. We are beautiful people, rich in character, intelligent, unceasingly kind, and forgiving. We only ask that you allow us to be that, fully and equally. To every person of color who lost their lives this year, and in the centuries before us, and everyone who has been disrespected, profiled, or abused, we lift you up today. We hold you close in spirit. Black Americans embrace amazing grace as if they need to repent for being black. Yet it was a white male who wrote Amazing Grace begging for forgiveness for his wretched actions. At 12 o'clock, it is simultaneously past, present, and future. On the last day of Black History Month, let us fully acknowledge the past, fully acknowledge the present work that is needed for our futures. Today, let us acknowledge every black person who has ever existed on this land. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama with its vicious racist, with its governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification. One day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. We will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. I have chosen not to show my face in honor of the faces we have not seen and never will see. Let us take a moment to acknowledge every deceased black and African American who never saw freedom and those who still struggle to be equally human. Over 400 years to present day, let's give our brothers and sisters a moment. Let us remember what support for equality looks like. Angels once removed, hear us cry out. Thank you.